my dear student we shall discuss benedict roth apparatus now the principal use of the instrument is to measure basal metabolic rate now what is the definition of basal metabolic rate is very easy it is the metabolic rate in basal condition now what is metabolic rate metabolic rate is the amount of heat production per hour per square meter of body surface now what is basal condition basal condition is a state of complete physical and mental rest at least 12 to 16 hours after last meal in a comfortable environment what do you mean by comf comfortable environment means the temperature room temperature should be in the comfortable range the humidity should also be in the comfortable range and there should not be any ambient noise that means the room should be silent now uh, basal metabolic rate can be measured by two method one is the indirect method other is the direct method the direct method uh, requires a very cumbersome instrument which is known as uh, benedict atta water chamber this is not always possible and there are so many fallacies that's why uh, there is uh, use of this benedict roth apparatus by which we can measure basal metabolic rate indirectly now this instrument can also be used as spirometer now for spirometer for use of this instrument as spirometer some modifications to be done that will be discussed later on next slide now what are the parts of the apparatus there is outer chamber there is inner chamber and within inner chamber there is soda lime chamber now the soda lime ch chamber actually absorbs carbon dioxide that is the use of soda lime chamber now there is bell which is an inverted chamber and is attached to beaded chain and it runs through a pulley there is water in between the inner chamber and the outer chamber and the inverted bell is immersed within the water there are corrugated rubber tube with mouthpiece and there is a valve in the uh, corrugated rubber tube which allows inspiration and expiration in separate directions now there is a chymograph attached to this instrument which is a recording device and stylus is attached to it a paper is wrapped around the chymograph where the recording is to be done now there are three knobs on the bottom of the instrument one is for outlet of water water can be drain out and the others are for gas gas means oxygen now the patient or the subject will have to take inspiration and expiration through a closed chamber where there is oxygen only now the chamber the inner chamber should be filled with oxygen that's why these two knobs for gas connection now <clears throat> next slide, slide please now here we shall discuss about the principle of measurement of basal metabolic rate now actually uh, by this method we can measure oxygen consumption now oxygen consumption is converted to the amount of heat production 
with the help of an equation which is which states that one liter of oxygen consumption is equivalent to 4.28 kilocalorie of heat production now we know that amount of heat production per hour per square meter of body surface so body surface will have to be determined by dubois chart which i am discussing later on and uh, by this method we can get the amount of heat production per hour per square meter of body surface and the whole procedure is done in basal condition so we will get uh, the amount of basal metabolic rate we can determine it now <coughs> about the diagram which is a schematic diagram of the apparatus we can see that the soda lime chamber is within the inner chamber which absorbs carbon dioxide and uh, the corrugated rubber tube with mouthpiece uh, this is the corrugated rubber tube we, this is the mouthpiece and this is the valve okay now the person uh, is advised to take inspiration and expiration through the mouthpiece with his nose clipped with the help of a device suitable device and the person is taking inspiration from the gas that means that means the pure oxygen which is uh, kept within the inner chamber and is exhaling the expired air through the same device the carbon dioxide within the expired air is absorbed by the soda lime chamber so gradually the oxygen is consumed and as and when <coughs> the oxygen is consumed gradually the bell which is kept inverted is gradually sinking down this is the bell kept inverted now when it is uh, getting sinking down the stylus here this is stylus stylus is attached to the uh, recording device that means the chymograph where there is a paper wrapped around it and the uh, chymograph completes a rotation in 6 minute one complete rotation in 6 minute now as the bell is sinking down gradually the stylus is rising correspondingly now the whole curve will gradually rise now the recording will be complete in 6 minute now after 6 minute the paper will be taken out and the uh, rise um, uh, the actually the rise of the curve should be measured there is another equation one millimeter next size slide please now here there is oxygen consumption curve now in the x axis there is time and in the y axis there is millimeter of rise of the curve now the uh, curve starts here this is the starting point now during inspiration and expiration there is up and down movement of the stylus now as an as gradually the bell is sinking down the stylus is going up so this is the way it goes off up to here and uh, the rise in millimeter of the curve is measured with the help of a scale now there is another equation one millimeter rise of the curve is equivalent to 20.73 ml of oxygen consumption so uh, by measuring the amount of rise say for example this is x millimeter we can get the amount of oxygen consumption in ml this should be converted in liter now the another equation which converts oxygen consumption to the heat production is 
one liter of oxygen consumption is equivalent to 4.28 calorie of heat production so uh, at first we should multiply the amount of oxygen production by 10 why because the chymograph will complete a complete circle one circle uh, one round in six minutes but i will have to calculate the amount of oxygen production uh, oxygen consumption in one hour that's why this should be multiplied by 10. so this is how i can get the amount of heat production per hour then i'll have to take the help of dubois chart for calculation of the body surface now dubois chart is a unique chart where there is a weight in one side in kilogram as well as in pound and height in centimeter as well as in feet usually height is centimeter is calculated and weight in kilogram is calculated now these two are intersected with the help of a line and uh, this is as this is joined this will intersect the middle column the now the middle column is actually the body surface area per in square meter so here in the diagram you can see that uh, this is the this is the height and this is the weight and this is joined by the line and this intersects here and i shall get i shall get the uh, body surface directly so you will have to divide the value which we get which we got by the body surface area and we shall get the required value that means the amount of heat production per hour per square meter of body surface the whole procedure is done in basal condition so we shall get the amount of uh, the value of basal metabolic rate now what is the use of determination of basal metabolic rate at present the use is very limited only for preparation of diet chart but previously when there was no uh, <coughs> method of determination of uh, uh, t3 t4 tsh was invented at that time this was used as uh, uh, as a device for determining the state of thyroid state that status of the patient whether the patient is hypothyroid or the patient is euthyroid or the patient is hyperthyroid but nowadays uh, there is ample scope for determination of uh, uh, thyroid hormones that's why this is not used nowadays for determination of the thyroid status so the use is limited for uh, measurement of uh, for uh, preparation of uh, diet chart only now this instrument can be used as pyrometer the previous picture now for using the instrument as pyro spirometer the necessary modification to be done is to take the shoulder lime chamber out why because the shoulder lime chamber if it is kept there this will absorb carbon dioxide and you will not get the actual volume in spirometry that's why this should be kept uh, out now this is a special type or the complex type of the spirometer because there is chymograph here so this is not a simple spirometer this is a complex type of spirometer as chymograph is attached here so we can measure timed vital capacity like feb1 feb2 etc with the help of this instrument that means the benedict roth apparatus when it is used as spirometer so this is all about benedict roth apparatus thank you